Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Uh, today we are going to see about DC microgrid operation control in MATLAB. So this is a simulation model we created for DC microgrid. So this model consists of solar PV system. It going to be connected to the DC bus via this boost converter and it is having battery energy storage system is going to be connected to the DC bus via this bidirectional converter and it have another energy storage element nothing but super capacitor so this super capacitor also connected to the DC bus via this bidirectional converter so here you can see that the PV panel so here I am going to choose the small rating of uh, system right for explaining the concept of uh, operation control in DC microgrid so here I am going to consider the 10 watts PV panel uh, that having a open circuit voltage of uh, 29 sorry 21.9 volt and 17.9 volt and then short circuit current is 0 0.71 amps and then current at maximum power point is 0 0.56 <coughs> amps and then here we are using a lithium ion battery so here we are using two lithium ion battery rated at a, a 3.6 volt so here i'm going to connect two lithium ion battery in uh, series so that's why we are multiplying that voltage by two and here we are using super capacitor the rating is 58 farad and rated voltage is 16 volt and here we have uh, DC load so here we have the uh, 4 watts DC loads ok and here we are going to maintain the voltage of uh, DC bus here we are going to maintain it 24 volt ok and then based upon this voltage level of PV and power rating so we need to design the LNC value for this boost converter and then based upon uh, the battery voltage and the DC bus voltage so you need to design the LNC value and also based upon the super capacitor volt, uh, voltage and the DC bus voltage we need to design this LNC value okay and then this PV panel right is going to be connected to the DC bus via this boost converter this boost converter is going to be controlled by means of incremental conductance MPPT ok so here we are going to use that MPPT algorithm incremental conductance MPPT algorithm for extracting the maximum power from the PV panel for change in irradiation condition so we need to extract the maximum power for change in irradiation so in order to get the effective power from the PV panel and also so here uh, this uh, bidirectional DC DC converter right the both bidirectional DC DC converter is controlled by means of uh, voltage and uh, current control concept ok so here we need to measure the uh, load voltage or DC bus voltage and going to be compared with the reference voltage and then again going to be processed via PA controller so this PA controller will provide the current reference ok so current reference for the battery and then here we are going to use filter this filter will be filter with that um, oscillation in the, the current reference and then here we are using uh, this one summer right so uh, here what happened right so during any um, transient right any transient uh, the super capacitor will be uh, supply the power or super capacitor will be uh, charge charging from that uh, battery or a PV during transition condition ok so for that uh, purpose only we are creating this logic ok so this will be considered as uh, the reference current for that battery and this will be going to be considered as uh, the reference current for the uh, super capacitor and here we are separating that uh, the reference current battery reference current with the uh, battery actual current so here we are uh, comparing the super capacitor reference current with the actual super capacitor current okay and then it is going to be processed via PA controller 
so this is a current controller so finally we are getting to the cycle right so this duty cycle can be processed by pendulum generator so this pendulum generator will be generate the pulse so this pulse going to be controlled this by rational converter and this pulse going to be controlled this by rational converter in order to maintain a DC bus voltage at 24 volt and also uh, the charging discharging will be happen based upon the power balance in the system okay <coughs> and here you can see that this is incremental conductance mbpt so here we need to measure pv voltage and current so that pv voltage and current going to be processed via inc increment conductance mbpt algorithm so you can refer my existing video of uh, the increment conductance mbpt okay so already posted a video about that incremental conductance and conductance MPPT you can refer my youtube channel uh, more about that <coughs> incremental conductance MPPT so based upon this voltage and current finally we will get duty cycle from that incremental conductance MPPT so that can be processed via the speed volume generator so the speed volume generator will be generated the pulse it going to be control this um, IGPT of this boost converter in order to extract the maximum power from the PV panel okay and here we are creating some uh, uh, change in irradiation condition for that PV panel in order to test the system <coughs> so here you can see that so every two seconds we are going to change the irradiation from 1000 to 800 and 500 300 and 100 again we are going to increase the irradiation to 300 500 800 okay so this will be happen every two seconds okay so we need to check the result of uh, pv voltage current and power and battery voltage current and power and then supercapacitor voltage voltage current and power as well as we need to check the soc of the battery and also we need to check the uh, the maximum power tracking of uh, pv panel with uh, uh, incremental conductance in BPT and also you have to check the, the DC bus voltage regulation as well as the current regulation of the uh, battery and supercapacitor by using this system okay so so this uh, working of this model and then uh, the control of this uh, DC microgrid okay so now we are going to check the results okay So here you can see that initially the irradiation equal to 1000 watts per meter square so that's why we are getting the maximum power around 10 watts from the PV panel okay and then here you can see that the voltage is around 19 around uh, 18 volt and current of the PV is around 19 at 0 0.51 amps okay so this is a DC bus voltage the DC bus voltage try to maintain at 24 volt and then this is a uh, load current okay so load current is around 0.17 amps and then here you can see that the load power is around 4 watts okay and here you can see that this is a uh, battery voltage battery current and uh, battery power and here you can see that this is super capacitor voltage current and power okay so we will check the response for uh, changing every change in irradiation condition from 0 to 2 seconds right PV power is maintained at 10 watts okay because the irradiation is around 1000 watts per meter square okay uh, from uh, G, uh, from 2 to 4 right the irradiation is maintained maintained at 800 watts per meter square so because of that we are getting around 8 watts from the PV panel and then current you can see that current change in current and then here you can see that uh, voltage is maintained around to 17.9 volt okay and also you can check the the variation of uh, uh, <coughs> battery power right so battery power in uh, charging mode okay and super capacitor also in charging mode during that time okay and also you can see that because of change in irradiation so there will be a small uh, dip in voltage and then uh, again is made in at 24 volt okay so here you can see that the uh, the dc load is maintained uh, dc load is maintained at uh, 4 watts okay and next you can see that after uh, 4 second right irradiation change to uh, 500 watts per meter square so here you can see that we are getting around 5 watts from the PV panel 
So because of that, right, you can see that right during changing transition condition, right. So here only that effect, right, and this control effect, uh, the transition control effect will be occur here. So because of that, you can see that uh, the super capacitor try to supply some power. Okay, that's why it's uh, change from uh, negative to positive. Okay, and also you can see that so because of reduction in the PV power, right, is around now is five watts, right. Already that load power is 4, four watts, right? Uh, you can consider that losses in the uh, boost converter, bidirectional converter, okay? So what happened, uh, uh, the system battery will be goes to ideal condition. So it's not go to uh, uh, charging mode or uh, discharging mode, right? It is in ideal mode condition. And here you can see that because of change in irradiation from 800 to 500, so there will be a uh, power supply from the super capacitor for this some moment right and also you can check uh, the irradiation change from 500 watts per meter square to 300 watts per meter square you can see here you can see that the pv power is around 3 watts okay so uh, during the transition right super capacitor will supply some power after transition query right you can see here right <coughs> battery supplying uh, power to the load also because uh, pv is generating only 3 watts but uh, battery uh, also uh, supplying some power to the load okay and here you can see that from uh, three, 300 watts per meter square to 100 watts per meter square right so here you can see that spike in the super capacitor okay and during transition it will be supply the power and also you can see that increase in uh, uh, power in the uh, battery from this level to this level to balance the power from source to load okay so and then you can see that from uh, variation from 100 to 300 so again you can see that the spike in the super capacitor will be negative because the transition the power generation in the pv will be increased from uh, uh, 1 watts to 3 watts right so that's why uh, now what happened super capacitor will be uh, charged during this condition when power will be increased from uh, uh, low level to high level and also you can see that the changes in the battery power right battery power is reducing because the power pv power is increasing uh, now so that's why uh, the battery power is reducing to not to maintain the balance power balance in the uh, dc microgrid okay and also you can see here right the power will be changed from 3 watts to 5 watts uh, during this uh, transition period right the super capacitor will be charging and also you can <coughs> see, see that the battery power will be changed from uh, positive to negative okay because of increase in uh, pv power <coughs> and also here you can see that the change in power from the 5 watts to 8 watts right so here you can see that uh, battery having sorry super capacitor having some negative spike and that when during transition it will be going for charging and then and the battery power will be goes to negative because there will be excess power <coughs> in the PV, right? Uh, that means because uh, the load is 4 watts here, we have 8 watts, so remaining power will be 4 watts, right? That 4 watts will be going for uh, charging this battery as well as uh, charging the super capacitor, okay? And here you can see that the DC bus voltage always maintained at 24 volt, and then DC power is maintained to 4 watts, and DC current also maintained at 0 0.18 amps. And here you can see here, right? So this is a variation of uh, SOC of the battery. So initially it's in discharging mode during uh, four seconds, right? After that it's going for um, <coughs> charging, and then again it's going for discharging, and then again it's going for charging condition depends upon the uh, change in irradiation condition. And also here you can see that we are extracting extracting the maximum power from the PV panel by using that incremental conductance in BT and also by using this voltage and current control right this voltage and current current control so we are maintaining that uh, uh, dc bus voltage at, at 24 volt and then uh, the sharing of current between super capacitor and the uh, battery will be happen effectively okay so this is operation of uh, dc microgrid um, uh, in the matlab okay Thank you, thank you so much for 
watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye